In the previous video, we were introduced to the wheel and axle. Now that we have an idea of what the wheel and axle looks like, let's talk about their mechanical advantage. The mechanical advantage of the wheel and axle is equal to the effort radius, or the radius of the wheel, divided by the load radius, or the radius of the axle. This will always give us a mechanical advantage greater than 1. One other thing that you will want to remember, the load force is equal to the effort force multiplied by the mechanical advantage. We saw these equation circles in the levers lecture, but we will be using the same concept throughout this entire chapter. Again, both the load force and effort force are either measured in pounds or newtons, depending on which system you are in. Mechanical advantage does not have any units. Let's take a look at one example. A winch has a 30 centimeter handle that turns in a circle. The radius of the drum is 10 centimeters. First, what is the mechanical advantage of the winch? In order to find the mechanical advantage, we have to take the effort radius and divide by the load radius. Since we are dividing a radius by a radius, it doesn't matter what we use for units as long as both the effort radius and the load radius have the same units. Therefore, we can take 30 centimeters and divide that by 10 centimeters to get a mechanical advantage of 3. Next, we want to find the effort force that is needed to lift a bucket weighing 500 newtons. For this problem, we are going to look at our equation circle with our forces and mechanical advantage. If we cover up effort force, we are left with load force divided by mechanical advantage. Our load force is the load of 500 newtons that we want to lift, and the mechanical advantage we found in the previous part was 3. Taking 500 newtons divided by 3, we see that the effort force should be 167 newtons. This concludes our discussion on the wheel and axle.